First thing that we have to do when we talk about adding range is we have to get everything working together. So I want you to think of the ball as the race car and I want the ball, uh, the race car is going to be able to move quickly when it's going down a straightaway or a gentle curve. We don't want the ball to have to go through a hand, hairpin turn. So get the ball moving in one direction as much as you possibly can throughout your, your shot. Second thing is we want to try and keep our body sequence. So we need everything extending as the ball is leaving our hand. If we start with the ball moving and our legs moving, then we're going to be out of power by the, with our legs by the time we get to that release. So we want to make sure that the ball starts moving first because it has a longer distance to cover. Then the legs start to extend and uh, uh, as we get to the set point and beyond. So keep your legs engaged until you get sort of around that chin or forehead height, then everything pushes together. And then the last part is this, we have to understand this requires physical strength. And if you're young, you may not have the physical strength in the body to shoot the ball from three point line distance or well beyond that, even when you are sequence, even the ball, when the ball's moving in one direction. And so think of it like physical strength. That doesn't happen quickly. You don't go ahead and get in the weight room, do one workout, and all of a sudden you're way stronger than you were the, the, uh, at the beginning of the workout. It takes time and range will take time. We can usually get a, a good amount of improvement quickly uh, to get sort of around the three point line with good form, but to add those next few feet, that requires some patience.